Good morning, everyone. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I am happy and wonderfully blessed to be here this morning. Call to worship. Let us please stand. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our opening hymn this morning is Holy, Holy, Holy. And we have music track to go with this. So we're doing something new today. See if we can follow the track. If you follow me, I'll follow the track, okay? Amen.
Lord God, thank you so much for another beautiful day. A few days ago, Lord, you sent the rain, you sent the storm, but Lord, some of us made it through. And we are so grateful, but we pray for the ones who did not make it through the storm. Lord Jesus, continue to lead us and guide us in the direction that you will have us to go. In Jesus' name, amen. Our affirmation of faith, what is it that we believe? I believe, I believe in, God, in God, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven, heaven and sitting at the right, right hand, hand of God, God the Father, Father Almighty. From, from this should come the joys of put and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated.
He will direct your path. Let us stand for our responsive reading, number 584 in the hymn. Choosing life. Behold, I have set before thee this day life and good and the death and evil. I call heaven and earth to witness this day that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. This commandment, which I command thee this day, it, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over to the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. But this shall be the covenant that I will make the house of Israel. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For and the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Amen. Glory, Patri. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Our scripture reading this morning is from Proverbs 3. Verses four through six. Proverbs chapter three, verses four through six. And it reads, So you will find favor and good repute in the sight of God and of people. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your path. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. Amen. Good morning. I hope and pray that all is well. Mm -hmm. 
I had an opportunity to, to speak with Cooper this morning before services started, and he and I had an interesting discussion that you're going to have to see your own Wednesday and you come visit me because all I know is that um, Lily and my team won uh, yesterday. Anybody else I wasn't concerned about. But Cooper had another concern, and I told him how I felt. He told me how he felt. But I had to preach this morning, and we didn't get a chance to finish our conversation, uh, Sister Harmon, but believe you me, we're going to finish that one. If I'm going to get my point across, he's going to get his point across. Amen. So glad to see each and every one of you here uh, on this morning. Um, something very interesting I was party to uh, yesterday, and I encouraged you all to, uh, to go and witness it. It was something on uh, PBS. If you don't know already, I love Georgia a Public Broadcast. It shares a lot of information about life. And just so it happened, um, when I turned it on yesterday on uh, pbs.org uh, slash um, I think turning point, uh, it had a comparison between our two candidates that's running for, for, for the office of presidency. And it was quite interesting um, what they had to say. And they just let it all flow. And it was the truth. So I asked my brother this morning coming in, it's hard for me to imagine people wanting to continue to live in darkness. You, you don't have to be ignorant to the fact anymore. It's all out here for us to see. Sister Harmon, it's just a matter of whether they want to see it or not. So that leads me to um, please get out and vote. Early voting starts. Um, I can't read it. I, October 15th um, is when our last, um, that's when our early voting starts. Let's see it now. Next day is November the 5th. Uh, go and vote your conscience. If your conscience causes you to vote for a certain individual that's a liar or cheat. And I didn't say, now that's what the news report said about it. You go ahead. But I'm reminded, I'm reminded of what the scripture said when they marched Jesus up before power. And he said, I'm going to release Somebody today, and you know who they call. You know who they call. So vote your conscience. And then when I hear a fellow that looked like me say to me, he cannot support a female, uh, my, my question to him is, if your mama was running, would you support her? I'm hearing a whole lot of other, oh, craziness. To me, it's crazy. Maybe it's natural to them. But let God be, be, be your conscience. I want to thank you all for participation in the uh, quarterly conference on last uh, Tuesday. And I want to publicly apologize to Sister Sanders. I was so, there's really no excuse for not giving her an opportunity for her stewardess report. She sit back so patiently waiting and um, thing was going so fast in my head. Uh, but a lot of things that we discussed at quarterly conference, I was hoping that those things would be discussed at our retreat. Huh? Okay. Um, and uh, I'm just a person of order and sometimes when things are out of order, it gets me somewhat out of whack. And I, I wear my feelings on my shoulder, which I 
on my sleeve, which I should not, but that's just who Randy is. I like for things to run smoothly, and when they don't, sometimes I get discombobulated, and uh, Sister Sanders had to um, suffer under that or for my behavior, but I want to apologize to her. I'm getting ready now. Um, I'm getting ready for our offerings. I have beat the uh, retreat enough. Everybody know about the retreat, and it's up to the church to do what they need to do uh, for this retreat. This is to reset our church. And uh, anybody that knows me know that I have an expression. I want what you want. So whatever you want, that's what I want for you. Because only God can change that that you want. Amen? Amen. All right. It's giving time now. Brother Cooper, you want to come and lift our offering? Good morning, church. Are we yet alive? The storm has passed over. We have lived to see another day, but there are so many people right now who are still going through as the results of the storm. So let's keep them in prayer and let's do what we can do to, to help them. Nine is given time. God has spared us another day to see another another day. I know this is the fifth Sunday, and a lot of people take the fifth Sundays just to take time, just to sit around and just, just rest. But this is still the day that God has made. So we're just thankful to, to see you who are here. And as I said, this is given time. God has blessed us in so many ways. So now is our time to give back to him that what, what he has given to us.
Amen. As Brother Cooper mentioned, we went through a hurricane, tropical, tropical storm. And as I look out into the congregation, I see all of my folk aware. And that's a blessing. I love stormy weather. I sit out on my, my deck and uh, watch God work. I see the lightning flashing and the thunder rolling. And I said, look at God. You can allow the weatherman to tell you this, that, and the third, but I know it's God because everything moved by the power of God. And I sit there and I watched it and I enjoyed watching God at work because it's an indication that he still yet lives. And I wanna charge and challenge each and every one of you here this morning to know that God is real. And whatever it is that's going on in your life, uh, God will take care of it. with my limited ability to know all things, don't want to know all things. But God sits high and he looks low and he knows all about it. So if you would please, as we go before the throne of mercy, we ask God to come and rest with you. Let us, let us pray. Eternal God, our heavenly Father. Lord, you've been good to us down through the years. And Lord, we are now faced with a time and space. We are faced with uncertainty. We are faced with wars and rumors of wars. Lord God, we are faced with man against man, woman against woman, child against parents. And because, oh God, you said that these times would come, we look to you. We ask that you would reach down from heaven and Touch us with the finger of love. Oh God, that we will be able to love our enemies. Because we thank you, Lord, because you loved us in spite of us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for sending your son Jesus to die, that we might have a right to the tree of life. Thank you you, Lord, for allowing him to get up out of that grave and come back home to glory for our, our sake. Thank you, Lord, for the sunshine and, and the rain. Thank you, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our ups and our downs. Oh, Lord, if we didn't have troubles in our lives, we wouldn't know 
what faith in you would do. So, Lord, as we gather here on this day, some have gathered for one reason and some for another. But, oh, God, you know all about it. Bless Heavenly Father. Bless in a special way. Bless, oh, God, our sick and our shut in. Bless the callous and the unconcerned. Bless, oh, God, those that are behind prison bars. Then, oh, God, we ask you to bless those that do not know Jesus in the free pardon of their sins. Lord, we are living in perilous times. Lord, keep us safe. Keep your arms of protection around us. Align no hurt, harm, or dangers to come our way. Bless Heavenly Father. Bless this church. Lord, as we reset and start from where we are now, be with us, go with us, lead and guide us along the way. Help us to understand your perfect will. Then, Lord God, when it's all over on this side of the River Jordan, Lord, give us a home somewhere, O oh Lord, where we can praise you more better and perfectly than we do now. For it is in the precious name of your Son, Jesus the Christ, that we ask for these and many other blessings. Let all the saints of God say amen, amen, and amen. When we seek and obey God's word and we obey it promptly, our rewards are enormous. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do abides with us still and with all who will trust and obey trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus Not a cloud in the skies, but his smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt or a fear, not a sigh or a
that you would hide me behind the cross. Whereas these, your children, will see less of me and more of you. Lord, I pray for your anointing from the tip of my head to the soles of my feet. O oh Lord, whereas every word that flows from these lips of clay, master will be of you. We further pray, O oh God, that these words will not fall upon deaf ears, but Lord God, that they will penetrate the hearts and minds of these, your children, that will cause us to live a life that's pleasing and acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer, and it is in the matchless name of your son, Jesus Christ, that we ask for these and many other blessings. Amen. My mother Sanders is making her way into the sanctuary. I want to say, uh, Sister Jacqueline, you you just spot on. Yeah, you on it, you. You almost to catch up with me with bringing folks in the in the church. Who uh, I I know I'm 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 out of order now, but guess what? That's all right. Coop said he gave me the permission to recognize these folk with Sister Sister Jacqueline. I have not seen um, that young man sitting behind you, Brother James. Uh, uh, you want to do it now or later? Okay. Uh, I want to thank you. Uh,
Amen. Amen. She didn't, Chris. Um, Sister Sanders does not disturb me. I need for this church to know. She does not disturb me. She has earned the right to express herself. Sister Sanders does not bother me, nor does Kendall. Uh, bother me. Kendall, I want you to know your mom and dad cut you your dollar short this morning by being late. We've already taken, but I got your dollar when you when that time comes. Kids don't bother me. Grown folks do. I did not um, put the entire uh, scripture in that I wanted, but let me read it for, for your hearing. Let not, I'm sorry, um, Proverbs, the third chapter. I'm starting with verse three. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about your neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart so that thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not upon thine own understanding. In all ways, in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, very proudly, but very constructively, I say, I'd ask the question, who needs direction? Who needs directions? When I was in the midst of uh, renovating the office downstairs, uh, Lily uh, told me that I needed to get a a coat rack. So I went to, we have a store in Warner Robins called, uh, I think, Good Home. So Sister Lynn, I went to Good Home and I picked up a few other items that I needed. And I also bought um, a coat rack. But unknowing to me, the coat rack was in a little box like that. So as I began to put the coat rack together, and as you go down into my office, you will not see a coat rack that I bought. Why? Because it's not put together. I got so far into the process, Sister Harmon, 
I realized I had some missing pieces over to the side. So when I began to look at the directions, I saw that I did not follow the directions. What are you saying, King? When you don't follow the directions, you're not going to get the results that you want to have. What did we do prior to Google Maps? How did we get from point A to point B? It would be foolish on man's part to leave here and go to Los Angeles, California, and don't know which way to go. Who needs directions? And I know, uh, Chris, this does not have anything to do with you because when you and Sister Dawn traveling, you listen to what she's saying about the next turn. <laughs> That's common sense that somebody ought be able to tell you, tell you something, even a dog can all be able to tell you something. I'm an old country boy down on the south side of Perry, and, and, and when the dogs start barking, you knew something was moving around in the house. Now, I, 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 I'm not throwing no shade at anybody, but Ms. Harmon, back in the day, the dog stayed out the door. So when do we get, hold me, hold it, because I see folks smiling now. Huh? If you got a dog in your house, I ain't, I ain't mad with you. But when we growed up, the dog was out the door, under the house. So when the dog started barking, you knew something, well, that's instructions, that's directions. When that dog started barking, you knew something was not quite right. Well, who needs, who needs direction? We go about life trying to figure it out on our own. Sister Jacqueline, I'm pretty sure you've spoken to your children about L-I-F-E. I tell mine, well, life will teach you everything I'm sharing with you today. But I've come to understand that some kids want, and adults, want their own battle scars. We try to give directions to our kids, to our loved ones, so they don't have to experience the pain that we've experienced. And pain is across the board. It's not only in society, it's in our church. To my young folk, ain't no hurt like a church hurt. You would think that you would come in God's house and experience love and peace. Folk in church raised hell than the folk down on the corner. That's because they're not following directions from God. I told you the other week when, when you hear folks say, child, if I was you, you better run because they're getting ready to give you some directions that's not godly. Huh? Because they put self in your place. And if you were in my place, you'd be dealing with the same thing I'm dealing with. Who needs directions? And our scripture this morning. is trying to give us some directions. about life.
let not mercy and truth forsake thee. We find today it's hard to find individuals that's willing to have mercy on you. As hard as that is to believe, it's hard today to find people that has mercy in their hearts. As much as you would like to, and, and sometimes it boils down to your family member. There's no mercy. There's no humility. It's all about me, me, and, and me. But God is saying today, bind them about, about your neck with you. Take it with you everywhere you go. Don't leave your mercy at home. Take it with you because you never know when you're going to have to display that mercy for someone who is in need. Hold me, Holy Ghost. I don't want to, I don't want to offend anyone. Write them upon the table of thine heart. You do know what's in your heart goes through your mind, comes out of your mouth. Whatever is in the heart, when that heart tells that mind to mistreat, comes out of your mouth and your action because that's what's in your heart. Many of you know, for those of you who don't know, uh, I take care of my mama's oldest sister. She 85 years old. And I listen to, to, to Lily I brought her in my house, Sister Harmon. She lived with me. I, I, I had a perfect life. Nice home. The whole house, Chris, is a man cave. And I brought Auntie home. Auntie been giving me a run for my money ever since she got there. But I don't get upset much. I don't get upset with her much. Sometimes I lose it. But it's inside of her to be who she is. You can't change that. And I've been trying to change that, but she still looks at me as that little fella she helped raise. And I can't get her to change. She needs some directions, but she won't, she can't accept it from me. She and Lily get along like two peas in a pod. But whatever on, is on the inside of you is going to come out. Huh? You can hold it back as long as you want to. My brother and I, we, we, we do a little handyman work. We were doing some work one day. And my little nephew was around, and I hit my thumb with the hammer. And they looked, Brother James, they looked right in my mouth to see what I was going to say. Because whatever is in your heart is going to come out of the mouth. Who needs? Who needs direction? You want to find favor between God and man? Show that mercy that God wants us to show. Be that kind, compassionate individual that God wants us to be. Then you'll find favor with God and be in good standing with man. But then it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. 
We trust more in doctors and what man has created than in God. I go out there to that, that ram and turn the key. I expect it to start. I expect to put it in drive and go on about my way. But do we trust God like that? I challenge you, my brothers and my sisters, to trust in God. Why? Because God will not disappoint you. I don't know anything that I've shared with Jesus that he told my brother John. He's just not like that. But we trust in individuals more than we trust in God. Who needs directions? Who needs directions in this time in our lives when, when we are so educated, we are so knowledgeable, we don't need anybody telling us anything. He said, and lean not on your own understanding. Because in today's time, wrong is right in some folk's eyes. The word of God has not changed. We've changed. And we've twisted God's word to fit our little world. But God will uncover you in the midst of your mess. What I preached last Sunday, it could have been me. All this stuff Diddy is going through now, and there's a whole lot of more other folk tied to Diddy. Could have been me. But we're not, we not going to talk and destroy him. Let God, that's God's business. That's why so many of us are so messed up in our heads because we feel and we think. When folk ask you, what do you think? Your safe response is, what does the word say? Because when you go to the word and explain to them what the, how can you explain to them what the word says, and you're not in the word yourself. Who needs directions? You know what our direction is? It's spelled B I B L E. Basic instructions before leaving life. That's, those are our instructions. That's how we maintain through life. But he goes on to say, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. Will somebody help me get a job at, at Cracker Bear? No. The somebody you're talking about is not the person that it was God. And we need to acknowledge God for where we are. We need to acknowledge God for bringing us thus far. Because if it were left up to man, we'd be in a pickle. If we had to depend on man. You see, Jackie, depending on what time of the evening you call my cell phone, determine whether or not I'm going to answer. But you can call him in the morning, and, and he will answer. For directions now, you can call him in the noonday. Lord, I need your help with this unruly child. Lord, my husband mistreated me on every level. I, I need your help. And rather than running back and forth to your friends, try Jesus because God will. 
And if you just hang in there for just a little while, not something, but everything will be all right. We go around like I did on my own understanding. And the coat rack is not useful to me. When you do it your way, it's not useful to you. But I guarantee you, when you do it the Lord's way, everything will fall in place. I didn't know or understand why I was going through the things of life I was growing through. But it was an opportunity for God to show me he got my back, he has got my front, and he got my side. He's all around me. And when you're in the midst of your storm, you don't understand what that storm is all about. But I, I guarantee you, if you're able to hold on for just a little while, everything will be all right. Sometimes we don't understand the sicknesses that we grow through in life. God is trying to tell you to slow down and live life rather than being in the fast lane. There are opportunities that we face every day. And if we look and lean upon Jesus, everything will be all right. Because see, when you're leaning on man, man will step back out of the way hoping that you will fall. You never know how a person feels about you until you get in a bind. But I guarantee you, if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, he will give you the instructions that you need to live in this mean, cruel world. I, at one time, didn't understand why folk just didn't like me. Nothing I've done to just don't like me. Young folk, I want you to understand, it's not you. The people don't like, it's the God in you. So don't go around trying to be a people pleaser. Please God, and I guarantee you, you will find satisfaction in your life. Jesus did not try to impress man. He came down through 42 generations to give us the directions to the heavenly place. He gave us directions. It's up to us. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Nowhere in there did it say anything about tithing. Nowhere in there does it say attending church. Although we know that's a requirement, but if you believe that God sent his only begotten son and he died for your sins and my sins, then you are saved. And if you're not sure about the prayer of salvation, it's on your bulletin. God made it simple. But man made it hard. Sometimes, young folk, you got to be there by yourself. And it's all right. You're not alone. Because he died on that cross. And once you understand the hierarchy in that God, the creator, Jesus, the Savior, the Holy Spirit, is our guide, comforter, and director. He sent the Holy Spirit back to dwell with us until his return. And sometimes in our minds, when your mind is saying, you know better than to do that, that's the Holy Spirit talking to you. But do you follow the Holy Spirit's directions? 
you'll find yourself in a world of hurt trying to figure it out on your own. It's like trying to solve a mystery. But try Jesus. I try. And he's all right. Save me one day. I was on my way to hell. But he stopped by and laid his hands on me. Gave me a new walk. Gave me a new talk. And I want to challenge and charge each and every one of you. To hold on to God's unchanging hand. You see, that old devil, he thought he had me today because of that rashness in my voice. Go back to that chemo and radiation that I had in 17. And sometimes the weather will get me to a point where that, that rashness is in my voice. But you know, but James, if I only had a whisper, I would whisper that praise to him. If I could only wave my hands, I wave my hand. Wave my hand to God. If I could only bow my head, I'd be saying, Yes, Lord, I trust you. I trust him in everything I do. I trust him in every place he directs me to go. You have no idea how I've been ragged and teased about taking Halsey. But it's okay. That's because they don't understand. They don't know what I know. Halsey is getting ready to reset. Oh, I wish I felt like preaching today. But y'all wait a while. I'm trusting in God. In all, all my ways. And he will direct your path. So many times we're standing at the crossroads of life. Young folk, you're standing at the crossroads of life. It's not a matter of direction. It's a matter of correction. If you take the correct path, every place your feet trod, not only will it be a blessing to you, but those around you. And then you'll see what Pastor King talking about. It's not you that you dislike. It's a God in you. Huh? I've tried it. I'm I'm finished. Uh, trying to give me um invitation or song. But I want to invite those of you who don't know Jesus. One of the most difficult to things to do is find yourself in a storm. Yeah. While in that storm it seems like everyone who you thought Please you could count on has, has walked away. And sometimes it seems like even God Himself has forgotten about you. But in spite of that, to still be able to lift your hands and say, Lord, I trust you. I surrender to you So many painful thoughts Travel through my mind And I wonder how I will make it through this time yeah. But I'll trust It's not easy Lord, but it's not easy Sometimes the pain in my life Makes you seem so far away yeah. As long as I know you're here, Father, I know I can make it. Through the tears and the pain. Thank you, Jesus. Through the heartache and rain. Lord, I I'll trust you. Oh, God, I trust you. 
sometimes it's so hard because everything that I see tells me not to believe. happened to me 10 years ago yeah but it's the thoughts in my mind I wonder how I will make it oh God but I trust you Sometimes the pain in my life, oh God, it makes you seem so far away. Can I get a witness, somebody? But God, I trust you. <laughs> the tears. Anybody ever had to cry late in the midnight hour? Every tear you've had to cry through the heartache and rain. Come on, take it up through the tears. Oh, that's right, through the heartache. To resurrect this church as it was in Listen, the somebody's going through something right now. And the devil's trying to convince you that there's no way you can make it out. And he says you're not going to be able to get out of this situation, but... I wish somebody would make the devil out of a lie right now and lift your hands and say, God, I will trust you. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know when you're going to show up. But God, I know you're going to do it. God, I know you're going to bring me out. Come on, yes, you. Come on, lift your voice and say, I will. Oh, that's right. I'll trust you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I don't know when the pain's going in. But I know, God, you wouldn't put more on me than I can bear. I trust you in spite of what I see, in spite of what I'm going through. I trust you. God, you've never left me. I know you love me. That's why I trust you. Come on, why you take it up? I had my heart broken. I made some mistakes. God, you still kept me. Oh, God, you're faithful. You see what I'm going through. You know my pain. I trust you. It's not easy for me, but I trust you. I know you're here with me. I'm not Myself. As long as I got you, Jesus, I can make it. I trust you. Yeah. Come on, by your side. I trust you. Oh, God, I just lost my job, but I got more bills than money, but oh, God, I will. The doctor said there's nothing else he can do, but oh, God, my back's up against the wall. Oh, that's right. I trust you. Amen. Amen again. Because we love the Lord. Amen. I just want to share that I need, I need direction. I'm not, uh, Brother James, I'm not ashamed to say I need some help. So many of us are suffering through life 
because pride won't let you say, I need directions. Yeah. And we all need help. Just live a while longer. We all need help. I understand you're going into the military. Okay, this is what I want you to do for you. Chart everything, chart it, everything that's going on with you, medical wise, when you after you raise your hand and they let you in the military. Take note. Because when you get out, although you've served your serve your country, it's hard to get the VA to respond to you the way you need to. So if you got a sneeze, a cold, write it down. Go to sick call. Get it documented. I'm giving you some directions on, on how to get paid after you get out. Amen. I enjoyed y'all. Uh, Melissa, I wish I felt like preaching today. That, that voice has is, is got me uh, uh, in a way, but it's okay. Um, y'all are, Doc, I appreciate you uh, being a part of our service today. It's not a matter of, sometimes I get so caught up and what I'm doing, I forget my protocol. But uh, thank you for being part of our service today. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. Now, I don't want you guys to leave before uh, I shake your hand. As a matter of fact, everybody, because I've got oil on my hand, and you want to receive that anointing uh, before you leave this place. Would you please stand with me? Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Um, Chris, um, Minister uh, Hopkins, uh, Lily, Randy. Uh, hey, Kendall, we're going to deal after service today. Kendall, trying to get my attention. Thank you, Chris. Um, we all need to be inviting people uh, to our church. Thank you, young man. You have something you want to say? And what's your name again? Cassia. Well, whatever happened, I, I'm not uh, flexing on your name, but whatever happened to Bob and Sarah? <laughs> Cassia, that's what we grew up on, the uh, plain name. But uh, see me before you go, because I want to see what it means. There's a meaning to it. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Please be seated. Most gracious and everlasting Father, we come now to the close of this, our worship experience. We close by saying we thank you for the visitation of the Holy Spirit. Now, Heavenly Father, as we leave this place, we ask that you would go with us. We pray, O oh God, for the love of God, for the love of Jesus the Christ, and the love of the sweet Holy Communion to be with us now and always. Let all the saints of God say amen, amen, and amen. May God bless you and you will go in peace. One of the most difficult things to do is find yourself in a storm. And while in that storm, it seems like everyone who you thought you could count on has, has walked away. 
Sometimes it seems like even God himself has forgotten about you. But in spite of that, to still be able to lift your hands and say, Lord, I trust you. so far away. to me 10 years ago. so far away can I get a witness somebody but God I trust you through the tears anybody ever had to cry later in the midnight hour every tear you've had to cry through the heartache and rain come on take it out through the tears oh that's right through the heartache Listen, somebody's going through something right now and the devil's trying to convince you that there's no way you can make it out and he says you're not going to be able to get out of this situation but I wish somebody would make the devil out of a lie right now and lift your hands and say, God, I will trust you. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know when you're going to show up but God, I know you're going to do it. God, I know you're going to bring me out. Come on, if that's you, come on, lift your voice and say, I will. Oh, that's right. I'll trust you. Hallelujah. Oh God, I don't know when the pains go in, but I know, God, you wouldn't put more on me than I can bear, so I trust you, in spite of what I see, in spite of what I'm going through, I trust you, God, you've never left me, I know you love me, that's why I trust you, come on, why you take it up, I had my heart broken, I made some mistakes, God, you still kept me, oh God, you're faithful, you see what I'm going through. You know my pain. I trust you. It's not easy for me, but I trust you. I know you're here with me. I'm not by myself. As long as I got you, Jesus, I can make it. I trust you. 